Hello, and welcome to Gothenburg, Sweden. Land of ABBA, meatballs, and this weird pair of disembodied legs. I'm Dave Green, and this is Hometowns. This is a new video series I'm doing where I interview different comedians about where they grew up using Google Street View because I'm too lazy to leave my house. Hello. And today my tour guide is going to be the fantastic Evelyn Mock. So here we go. We're about to start. This is it. So, Evelyn Mock, what was it like growing up in your neighbourhood? My area is really nice, um, it, and it's kind of on top of a hill, but if you go below where I live, you'll get to the council estates. Okay, yeah. Um, I think that's the same most places, isn't it? They keep the rich people up on a hill. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> up on a hill. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. So, here we are. This is, if you turn up there. Yeah. They recently put these in because people were speeding. Oh. There are, there's so a that's lot of, like a uh, Swedish speed bumps. Kind of, yeah. It's a, it's a simplified speed bump thing because in the... Oh, you see there in the background? There, there's the council houses. Oh, okay. So... Um, that's the Swedish, Swedish ghetto. Yeah. <laughs> they call it the uh, concrete ghetto. The Bet concrete ghetto. Yeah. Betongjungelboken. Because so even that, even that sounds, sounds kind of nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, the reason in they Sweden. put in these is because um, there were there's a lot of like criminality in yeah. my area, so and the flowers stop them exactly. They see flowers, they think it's like going to do a crime, but don't feel like it now. Exactly, there's beauty in the world. So, if your parents came over from China, were you like very conscious of being an immigrant growing up? I was, because in Sweden. The immigrants are sort of, they live outside of town. It's yeah. very segregated. Uh, and it's because of um, the government sort of made an initiative that to build a million apartments uh, within a few years. Yeah. And all of these apartments were placed outside of town because that's where they had room. And so when people came, they sort of housed them outside of town. But that naturally created like a segregation and just like an immigrant community outside of town. And so these areas would often be kind of like um, a bit lower in class and a lot of people on benefits. Um, and so it was very obvious to be an immigrant in Sweden, and it still is today. Do you want to walk around in Hammarkullen? Yeah. Was that this neighborhood? Yeah. Down here? Yeah. We've started rebuilding. Oh, we're at ooh, actually up there. The where it says gym. This one? No, the here. Yeah, that's where I used to go to swim school. Come my body. You good at swimming? No, I was terrible. <laughs> I remember one time my mom came. I was so proud that she was came because it was the first time she came, and all of the other parents will always come and watch their kids. And so my mom came this one time, and I was so happy she was there. I was swimming, but I wanted, like, I was so happy she was there, so I kept waving at her. Yeah. Which... <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that when you swim. <laughs> exactly. So it kind of, so I was swimming really badly and waving. And then when I got out of the pool and when we were on our way home, she just asked me, she was like, why were you so bad? <laughs> so it looked like I was drowning, she said. Do you want to see the, uh, like, the center, town center? Yeah, yeah. Go away. You take the, take the reins. So here we go. This is town hall. Or town square. Look at this guy. What's he doing? Hanging up. Whoa, nice shirt. Yeah, I know. Where is that guy? Ah, let's go back to the room. Nice shirt. So this is, like, this is Town Hall. This is where my parents got married. Oh, wow. And, uh, I don't know if you, what these are. I can't remember. But this is, uh, oh, what happened? 
This is called Gustav Adolf's Square. This dude traveled around Sweden and just um, pointed to places where people should make towns. Yeah. So that's why he's standing there and he's actually pointing to the ground. He's like, because... I want a town here. Exactly. That's what he's he like, said. We've already got one, mate. Exactly. Just look around you. So that's the kind of legend, sort of. He pointed to this point and said, this is where Gothenburg is going to be. So that's, oh, that's why pretty he's standing cool. there and this guy. pointing. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it, having your own statue like that? Very nonchalant, isn't he? Just hanging out. Yeah, he probably didn't even do any of the work. He just pointed. What would you do if you if you had a statue? What like? What would you be doing? My pose. <laughs> yeah. My statue pose. Not like anyone's gonna be able to see it. I would want like a really gross statue. Not a gross one, but not like I wouldn't want to look like that. I would want to like be a statue of me when I haven't showered for three days, just <laughs> like lying in my couch. Sitting down. Yeah. You're gonna have a sitting, sitting down, down statue. That would be lying in my couch watching TV. That'd be rare. That would be a nice statue, I think. Is there any like pictures you see in the clouds? A dragon. Well, this thing. Yeah. And what does that? And what does a, that say about your your a, personality? This is a tiny. Is that the Chinese thing? No. <laughs> that could be the Chinese thing. This is a tiny Capricorn. This is a dragon. The smoke, the fire. It's probably the Chinese thing, yeah. Because otherwise, I would have seen like a penis or something. Because everyone who isn't Chinese is just thinking about penises. Exactly. All the time. I know that's true dragon. for me. Penises. I, as a child, I just used to look at the sky and just only see penises. <laughs> oh, this is a cross. What's it called? Is oh, yeah. it called a cross? A swastika. I oh, know it is a cross, yeah. A crucifix. Crucifix. That is actually, yeah. That'd be weird, isn't it, if we found Jesus. Jesus. Today, just just for doing this video. Clouds. 